everybody. So this is lesson two. And what I'll show you in this video is how to use computation layer to give not only yourself as the teacher some feedback, uh, but also the students. So this is like you pose a question, uh, a numeric answer um, they'll need. And if the numeric answer is correct, not only will you know it on your teacher dashboard, but the students will also know it on their end. Okay, so first thing we need to do is I'm going to type the question. Now you could type it up here in the instructions, but I'm going to use a note. So I'm going to pick the note component and my question is going to be two plus two. Okay, obviously you can put whatever you want there. All right, now I need a place for the students to give me their answer. So math input. So the way it is right now, and this you're probably familiar with is, okay, they would type in four. Right now, the way it looks is on your teacher dashboard, you would have this dot and that tells you, hey, there's something for you to look at. And it doesn't give you the feedback of whether it's correct or not. And the students have no feedback either. Um, and that's up to you whether they should get that feedback or not. Let's start with the teacher knowing if it's correct. So we're going to start by naming the math input. Um, I'm going to name it answer, A-N-S. And this is screen one, so I'm gonna put a one. Um, again, that could get messy if you're the type that goes back later and like moves your screens around. But anyway, name it something. Okay, now I'm gonna click on uh, for this math input component right here, the computation layer. And what I want it to do is tell the teacher if the student is correct. So we're gonna type in correct and you can see it starts to pop up there. Press the tab button and it will finish it for you. Don't mathematicians just love shortcuts? Okay, so now what I wanna know is if their answer is correct, obviously if it's equal to four. So we're gonna type in what we named that component. I named it answer one dot. And now I wanna know if the numeric value of answer one. So we need a source here and I'm gonna pick numeric value equals four. I think I was saying one for some reason. I don't know, but anyway, two plus two is four, right? The error message goes away, that's good. Now, if you wanted to stop right here, you can. Maybe you don't want the students to get this feedback just yet. So here's what it looks like at this point. The preview, if they type in the wrong answer, now you can see that you're getting the right wrong feedback instead of just a dot. So as the teacher, you now know, oh, that one was wrong. That one is correct, okay? Now, if you want the students to know if they're correct or not, I like to put in another note component. And I want this to be above the problem, so I'm gonna click and drag it up here. All right. I'm going to go into the computation layer here in this new note, this what is now blank. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, I need a variable. So I call it variable 1a because it's screen one and it's my first variable. And that will be equal to, this is where I'm going to check to see if that numeric value is a four like I want it to be. So I want to know, is answer one numeric value, oops, equal to four. Okay, so variable 1a will keep track of that for me. Now for variable 1b, again, you can use whatever variables you want. This is just how my brain works to keep everything organized. This is where I'm gonna use that if then statement. Actually, it's when otherwise is what computation layer uses. So when this, um, so when variable 1a happens, I want, um, you can put like yes, because my question will be, or my feedback back to the students will be, is this correct? Um, but again, I like emojis. So again, on the Mac, control command space, and I'm gonna pick that emoji. Hello. There we go. And then you have to close your quotation marks. 
Otherwise, um, I want this emoji. Okay, now at this point, um, Desmos knows if the student is correct or not, but we still didn't tell the students. This note would still be blank. If we look here, preview, still the students know nothing. Okay, so we need to add some content here. So, content. Um, I'm going to put the feedback up here of, you know, is this correct? You can write out a whole sentence like, am I finished or whatever, however you want them to have their feedback. Then it's either going to give the check mark or the X. And the way you do that is dollar sign, curly brackets, variable 1B. So whatever happens with variable 1B, I want it to go right there. And then you have to close your quotation marks. Okay, let's check it out. My preview. So three is wrong. You can see that the teacher knows that it's wrong and now the student does too. Four, now you can both see that it's correct. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Give me, uh, give me a shout out if you need anything.